new figures, Dynamaxing. This Kairu duel, relaunch of Pokemon duel, is going to be crazy. What's good? It's your boy Rico. Welcome back to another episode of Kairu Duel. We're going to start saying Kairu, Kairu Duel because that is what this game essentially is called. It's not Pokemon Duel. It's Kairu uh, Duel. Well, actually, we're, we're just replaying Pokemon Duel. Anyway, um, last video, Pandemonium stated this. The part I'm more concerned about is how they're going to, or how they're growing, yeah, how they're going to create new content for the game, new Pokemon that are not in the game. So last night, Rob, myself, Shutterbug. Shutterbug is the guy who is doing all the coding or fixing all the coding. Um, we had long discussions last night, and it was very fun. We were just talking about like this game and the development of this game and what we can do to, to move forward. So I posed this question, and this is what Shutter has said. And the only reason why I took a screenshot is because there's a plethora of comments, and I could not, I did not want to sift through all of the comments just to show you guys the conversation because, like I said, it was long. Um, but what he said is we have two solutions, really. Implement fan-made designs, create new figures, but using existing models. So get this. What if... <clears throat> it, it, I mean, it's going to be hard for us to say Urshifu, for instance, right? Urshifu's in Gen 8. How do we bring Urshifu into Pokemon Duel or Kairu Duel? We can't. We can't use any sort of design that, you know, resembles Urshifu. Uh, as far as attacking goes, figuring out attacks and ability, I'm sure we could use it, but... That's when we run into copyright infringement. So, what I'm assuming is going to happen is let's say we decide to do, I don't know, a bug Eevee or a dragon Eevee. So we'll kind of release it. We'll be like, hey guys, we want to see which one of you can make the best dragon Eevee. And then you guys m might probably get full, um, what is, what, what's the word I'm looking for? You guys get full control of the MP, the attacks, the ability, the design, the will. Like, just think of that. It's going to be insane. And then also, uh, what Shutterbug mentioned last night is he was saying, he's like, maybe I should make a certain rarity for or uh, each rarity for each figure. And I was like, bro, you just you just opened up a can of worms. First of all, Pikachu des deserves an EX, okay? And that Pikachu's EX, for me, I would design just something similar to Mew. Uh, anyway, my mind was going everywhere. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. We can have two Pokemon, the same Pokemon, different abilities, different movesets, different rarities, man. I was like, Shutter, I don't know if you know what you started, but my mind uh, was going crazy. Uh, so there's that. That's something uh, to look forward to. We also did talk about rebalancing every figure. And the last thing we want to talk about is Dynamaxing. And the more that I think about it, actually, the more I kind of don't want to see Dynamax. Because what does Dynamax do in the main series? Uh, your Pokemon gets bigger for three turns. Your health is doubled. Your damages is increased. And the most important thing, I think, is boosting. What does Megas do? Well, I mean, Megas boost. They increase damage. They increase MP sometimes. Sometimes they make your blue disappear. I mean, the, like I said, the more I'm thinking about it, I don't really want to implement Megas in this game. But it's part of Pokemon. But the thing is, this is Kairu Duel. This is not Pokemon. But I don't know. Uh, that's just, those are my thoughts. But please let me know in the comments below, what would you guys do to make Dynamax work with the Pokemon Duel mechanics please let me go in the comments below um and like always i do have something to show you guys I have two no i have one match to show you guys uh and it's just gonna be like old times i'm back the cheese is here and you guys are gonna see but first we're gonna jump into this match and all i want to do is just i just want to show you guys uh shutterbug shutterbug 2000 he is the one who's doing all the coding take a look at him he's got the dev mask do you guys remember that that's all i really wanted to highlight i don't remember what happened this match i think it froze yeah it froze here i uh, look pretty evenly matched but all right let's jump into the one match that i do want to show off Aries is looking at me like he wants food. I fed him. I gave him treats this morning. Every morning he comes up. We go back there. I give him treats. I make him do tricks. Sit. Lay down. Paw. Up where he jumps in the air. And he gets his treats. And then I feed him. And now he's meowing at me like I don't feed him. Alright, anyway. Let's see. Uh, Rip to uh, my boy here. ST. And a bunch of numbers. Because uh, <laughs> I got double good bite. Feels good.
All right, so my man here's going to open up a Trico. I'm just going to open up with a Gabite because <laughs> there's really nothing you could do here. I guess the Gabite. Um, I think the game crashes with Gabite and Sandshrew because of Sandvale. I actually haven't tried to attack a Sandshrew or a Gabite while trying to trap them. I've actually attacked a Gabite, and I believe they just canceled the ability and attacked, and I think it worked, but I think if you use the ability, I'm not sure. All right, anyway, what I'm trying to do here is I'm taking a look at Apom, and I'm looking at his ability runoff, and I'm like, hmm, I'm going to try some, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say cheese, because it's not, I'm not going to win, I'm not going to KO anything, but I want to try some cheese here just to, to see how this ability functions, because I've never done it before. So that's why I moved him up to next to the hair cross. I'm trying to set him up. I think I want to put the other Gabite right behind it. Uh, but the, other, the only reason why I even rushed there, I was like, I dare you to attack me with your hair because you're going to land the over Talos. I'm going to land anywhere behind you, and that's going to be GG Boys. But STV. 13, 5, 7, It's smarter than that. So I was going to move up the... I don't even know what this thing's called. Shinx? Yeah, Shinx. Okay, perfect. Blind. I forgot what blind does. I think it makes you gain weight. Wait, why do I count here with Gabite? Probably because the outdam it damages the uh, the fetchling, and so take a look at my. I don't even know what it's called. What is Jinx little form? This thing right there. Yeah. What is this thing called? I know it's a psychic, and um. See, I'm already telling him. I'm like, hmm, I wonder if this ability works. Um, but I don't know what Jinx's little form is called. But it is ice. It is psychic. So there is some cheese to be had there. Uh, STV pulls a good switch here. I like it. Now I can't do. Well, I guess I still can, but uh, Trico just destroys this Apom, so things are not looking good for me, but I'm still going to try the ability regardless, and I th I'm trying to think who I want to put here. I put Blastoise here just because Blastoise hits harder. I mean, I know I have a huge purple, and he's got gold, but I just figured Blastoise, would be, or not Blastoise, but uh, yeah, Blastoise would be the best, uh, the best Pokemon here. Uh, and then Steve, I want to say Steve, I don't know why, but STV is going to X attack here. Um, and of course, I'm going to roll miss, right? I'm going to roll miss. Oh, by the way, can I show you guys this real quick? So when I played Hero the other day, I rolled three misses in a row with Metagross. Metagross? What the? F Metagross? Jesus. And he said that was one out of 13,824 chance. And uh, I believe it. And who do you guys think could even fathom achieving that feat? Of course, it's me, right? Of course, it's me. Because I'm going to miss three times in a row with Metagross. Get out of here. Anyway. Uh, what am I looking at? Sweet Kiss, Confuses, and then the Lick Paralyzer. Which I need to be careful about. Because it'll crash the game. Um, I started advancing it just because... I want it on their side of the board, especially when uh, my Z moves up. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have moved up so early. But, I mean, Drowsy isn't really threatening to me. I mean, he can put me to sleep, I guess. And confuse me, which is, yeah, it's a problem. But it's a risk I'm willing to take. And the Drowsy's not really doing anything in this in the corner. So what do I do here blind? Oh, it moves one, two steps back. This Pokemon moves one, two steps back. So I think I just... What do I do here? Uh, maybe I should just be, oh he it's his turn all right so he's going to attack here he's going to move up his trico trico uh, you know what is that my second miss dude <laughs> like i told you guys some things never change some things never change i just i just miss all right all right stv here i would just move up the shinx and attack although i don't know the damage calcs between the shinx and this fetchling uh too bad he already used his x attack that's probably why oh he does attack i think i win the roll actually yeah i do win the roll yeah, maybe should have saved the uh, uh, X attack because that would have been a good, that would have been a great cheat there. But oh, uh, we land the acrobatics, and I didn't even know what acrobatics did, but apparently I moved back one step, and I gained weight. So I wonder if uh, Dark Rise, Dark Leap, or whatever the hell it is, I wonder if it's fine and it doesn't crash. So that would mean that like Sceptile would be fine with a Stealth hit. I'm assuming. Well, and I guess you're about to find out. Well, what else I do to uh, move? All right, so here, thought about... Oh, I axe attack here. I axe attack here. I think Vigorous is a good play. I either out-damage him, tie him, 
or I get overhead toss. Or he'll roll a miss and I'll land sand attack because that's it's, right. Because that's just what happens. <clears throat> Smoochum. That's the name. Smoochum. I don't know why I'm looking over on this screen. I'm sorry. I moved the camera right here. Okay. Um, is it their turn? I think it's their turn. Can't really attack the Trico. I don't like it. Okay, so now I just want to stop here for a second. I know my Z gauge is coming up. I know my Gabite is in a vulnerable position to get surrounded by a <laughs> one MP figure that's going to take like three turns. Anyway, I decide to bait him there. The reason being because I want my Z gauge to move up all the way. I have a Smoochum. What does Smoochum do? Smooch, I mean, what is Smoochum's typing? It's ice. It is psychic. I want to do some psychic cheese. I can't do some psychic cheese because he's not going to allow me to advance up on the board and, you know, land on the gold GG boys. But what I do see is a surround set up here. So I'm baiting this drowsy to come right here. I'm going to attack with a smooch. I'm, like, I'm going to move the fetchling, obviously. Uh, the, the goal here is to land the psychic Z move and then surround the Trico. Let's see what happens. I was actually thinking about switching before I forgot. I was actually thinking about doing a Pokemon switch here. And then doing it, because then I could still surround the Trico. But uh, if I did po do a Pokemon Switch, I'd probably just... I don't know if I would get attacked, to be honest. He might be scared to attack because of the overhead toss, and it would be GG Boys. But that was my initial first plan, was to do the Switch. But I was like, hmm, I don't know if I have enough time to do it. So what I'm going to do is actually just move this Fetching. And I feel like this Fetching should be at 3 MP, just because it's a, it's a base Pokemon. It's trash. I guess 3 MP would make it <laughs> a little more viable. Uh, anyway, I think STV is going to move up the Drowsy. Here. No, it moves up the Combi. Then I move the Smoochum. I think I do, right? I'm still looking at it. <clears throat> like I said, I want to be careful here. I'm plotting in my head what I want to do. <laughs> also, what I want to show you guys, just like old times. Look at my timing, bro. I'm like down below three minutes. Uh, but we attack here. I see no reason not to. I mean, he can get a sweet scent. And then I think he can, if he gets the sweet scent, it moves, I believe, a Pokemon within its MP range. So he was here. One, two, three. He couldn't have moved Goodbye. He could have reached Goodbye, but Goodbye can't move this way. That's the only way it can move, and that's away from him. So uh, anyway, as I was plotting this, I was like, wait a minute. There's he gauges up as well. He is a psychic Pokemon. I need to be very careful here. So he moves up, and I'm like, yeah, we need to... I was... I was Okay, so I was like, listen, I want him to surround my Gabite. But I don't know if his Z-Gage is going to come up, and if it does come up and he attacks Moochum, that's GG boy. So I was very scared here, and the, what I did was like, you know what? I'm pretty sure if I just move up, it's not going to go all the way up. And to my calculations, I was correct. I was like, oh, okay, good. It's not GG boys. We're good. In fact, I don't even know if STV was aware of this, uh, like this psychic cheese here. So he moves on, takes my goal, and ends the turn. I believe I was like, all right, perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the goal, you're going to take the surround, then I'm going to attack you, then I'm going to get the double kill on Trico, and then you're going to be in a terrible position here. But his Z gauge is up, and I was like, oh, God. But, I mean, I guess he can't really do anything. He can attack with Heracross. He can Z-move Heracross, but that's not going to really do anything. Uh, so, he doesn't... Wait, he moves here? Like, I'm just baiting him, right? I'm just waiting for him. I think he moves on Drowsy, actually. Yeah, he moves on Drowsy. <laughs> and then STV. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I'm already typing down here. I'm like, please, for the two. And I was like, oh. You didn't take the surround? Uh, and I'm kind of baiting him. Like, I'm like, dude, take the surround. Like, it's the, it's the best play. Like, like I said, I, I, I'm not trying to be a dick here. Try to teach him, STV. Try and teach you here. He replies, he, she, I'm not sure. But STV replies with, oh, I didn't see that. Then he goes for it. I was like, perfect. All right, this is perfect. He said, says thank you. I'm sorry, dude. I'm a dick. I'm like, all right, here we go. 
just going for some cheese, you know. Got to do it for the tube. We have to do it for the tube. I'm letting them know. I'm like, please don't land hypnosis. I have to do it for the tube, please. For the people. Let's go. Shattered Psyche. Oh, man. When was the last time you guys saw seen Shattered Psyche? When was the last time you seen it? For some cheese. He lands up miss. I'm like, let's go. Let's go. And we get a nice, clean double kill. Now, here's my question. What was your guys' best double kill ever? Please let me know in the comments below. Uh, and unfortunately, game crashed. I don't know why it crashed. Maybe it was because I did move. But then we, we were able to move with the... Uh, uh, da, 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 da. The fetchling? With acrobatics. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, unexpected error. Uh, oh, it's something also we did learn. What, Sh what Shutterbug figured out. When it says unexpected error occurred, return to the title screen. If the opponent disconnects i think disconnects and then reconnects what the game tries to do is replay everything that's happened thus far so in what is that like 10 minutes geez that was like 10 minutes so when it says unexpected error it's because the game is trying to replay every all, everything within those 10 minutes but it can't i don't think it has something that can clear like the backlogs or whatever happens in the coding um and because of that that's why we get uh, unexpected error. So there's a lot of things that we're still figuring out. Um, in fact, I haven't even checked the Discord today. I haven't even read through it. There's a lot of comments I haven't read through. It. I don't know what's new. Uh, but as last I checked, the game was offline. Uh, so after I edit this, we're going to jump back in and uh, do some more testing. So uh, until then, ladies and gentlemen, as always, can't wait for this game to be fully functional. Peace.